welcome back everybody right something a little bit different today um some of you may or may not know that apart from playing around with cars looking for ring pulls um i do also hold an amateur radio license so i'm going to throw a quick amateur radio related video up for any of you out there that are sub to my channel that do happen to use amateur radio so we got a Baofeng UV5R and I'm going to show you how to program repeater frequencies and offsets and CTCSS tones into the menu. Uh, the instruction manual that comes with these radios is pretty dire to be honest and when it you're searching through the manual to find out how to program repeater offsets and it's it, it's useless you might as well just throw it in the bin and just play with it and that's how I found it by purely by accident. Right so here we go right switch them on Right, and as you can see at the moment, it's in channel mode, which is the, the memory channels. So the first thing we need to do is to put it into VFO mode or frequency mode, as it's called on this. Frequency mode. So there we go. And we're monitoring S20. And now the, the little S up in there means that the dual standby is on and we need to turn that off. So select menu. Menu. Number seven. Press menu again. Dual standby. Turn it off. Confirm. Then back to the home screen. The reason why you turn that off is because we need to program on VFOA, which is the top one. If we're halfway through doing that and we receive a signal on the on VFOB, the little arrow will drop down there and will all it will the radio will automatically select VFOB as our transmit receive frequency. And once the transmission on that frequency would have stopped, it will flick back up to the top again. So to avoid any interference, we want to keep it on VFOA. So we have to turn the dual standby off. Right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to program our repeater output or the receive frequency. Uh, for On this one, I'm going to program GB3WR, which is the repeater up on the Mendip Hills in Somerset, which I can access from here. So... We need to put that pro that we need to put the the output frequency of the repeater in, which is one four five six hundred. One four five six zero zero. Okay, so that's our repeater output frequency, and we need to store that. So we press menu. Menu. And we need to go to memory twenty seven, which is our memory channel. When it's got CH next to it, that means that, like for here, it's channel 000. When it's got CH next to it, it means that that channel has already got a, um, a frequency allocated to it. So we need to scroll up until we find... Oh, I've just gone on the wrong one, haven't I? Right. There. Memory channel. And then we need to scroll up and find a blank space. There we go. And then we press menu again. Receiving memory. Right, so that's our receive frequency is now stored on memory channel three. So exit back to VFO mode and we need to put the input frequency or the transmit frequency into the radio. So that's it on one four five zero zero zero. One four five zero zero zero. Okay, so that is now our transmit frequency. But what we also have to do is we need to put in our output power and our CTCSS tone. Because once it's stored, you won't be able to change it later. If you were to select the CTCSS tone and then key the mic or the output power, and as soon as you key the mic, it will revert back to whatever is stored in the in the memory. So go to memory again, menu. menu and we need TX power. And it's already on high, so we're going to leave it on high, but you can change that to whatever you want. Right, the next one is our CTCSS tone. Uh, one, one, three, and we need to select 94.8. CTCSS. So there we go, that's our CTCSS tone. Confirm. 
Right, so now we need to go back to our memory channel, which is on 2.7. Go back up to memory channel 23. Oh, I've done it again. Memory channel. There, and when we press menu again, Transmitting memory. it's now stored the transmit frequency. So if we exit that and go into VFO mode, uh, into channel mode, channel mode, there's channel 23, it's up there now. So now we'll put a call out and see if we get a response. So you can see we're, we're on channel 23. So let's see what happens. Whether it be any good in my sitting room remains to be seen, but we'll give it a go. Two whiskey zero, Fox, Bravo, Bravo, check and access, WR. We've got it. Right, no one came back, but we can clearly open the repeater as you heard, so game on, sorted. Oh. I'm just going to go back to him then as well. Mike Whiskey Zero, Delta November, what's the station just called? There we go. Uh, 290 and, uh, two and I'll oh, just turn this off for a minute. Right, so there we go. We accessed the repeater. No one came back to me, but you heard that the repeater did actually open. So the CTCS tone is right. The input frequency is right. The output frequency is right. And obviously the TX power, because I would never hit it on low power from here. Not from South Wales to the Mendip Hills in Somerset. So there we go. That's how you program your Baofeng UV5R to work on a repeater. So, um, bored in lockdown, what to do next? <laughs> right, we'll catch you on the next one, all the best.